Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In today's video of custom training, I want to talk to you about 1099s. It's January, it's now time for us to think about it. There's two softwares that accountants like to use a lot. There's Tax1099, which is this website, tax1099.com. And then there's also track1099.com. Let's first look at pricing for both of these. I'm just gonna come over here and click on pricing. And let's, in both cases, say that I need to issue one 1099. So we'll say one 1099. The cost using tax 1099 is $2.90. If we go over to track 1099 and say I want to issue one 1099, it's $2.99. So it's pretty negligible, whichever one you want to use. Nine cent difference. The reason that I would use an online software is that it's going to be cheaper and easier than trying to get the forms, fill out the forms, mail the forms, deal with the forms. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Track 1099. In a different video, I'll show you how to set up Tax 1099. So we're just going to say sign up on the left. I'm going to fill in our info. So Rachel Barnett, Rachel, Let's see if I can spell my name. All right, who's going to use this account? Only me. Phone number 05. I have read. I accept. Sign up. Security question. Let's pick something good, shall we? All right. So it says, what would I like to do? The question it's asking me is, which form would you like to start using? The W9 is the form where I request the tax ID number. Or the 1099, and it says 1099 series, and that's because there's a handful of different 1099 forms. We're just going to say 1099, so I'm going to pick the option on the left. The payer is the company issuing the forms. So in my case, I'm a bookkeeper who works with many clients, so I would enter each individual payer and then keep track of the recipients for that payer. So we're just going to set ourselves up. Let's say um, enter a new pair manually or import. Well, goodness, I think import sounds lovely. So let's go ahead and click on this one for QB. Um, what do we have? We have QuickBooks Online, so let's do that. It does say that Intuit does not support this process for QuickBooks Essentials or for W-2s. What they're not telling you is if they don't support it for QuickBooks Essentials, then they're also not going to support it for QuickBooks Simple Start. So let me show you. Books online pricing. There's Simple Start Invisible, but I promise you it's here. In the middle, there's one called Essentials, and then Plus and Advanced. So if you're trying to do this and you get an error message, it could be because you have Simple Start or Essentials, but it will let you do it for Plus and Advanced. So let's go ahead and say Connect. It's going to ask us to sign into QuickBooks or it's just gonna give me an error message. Welcome root at null, no, not us. So we'll enter our credentials. In my case, I have multiple QuickBooks files connected to my account. So I'm saying connect it to the account called Gentle Frog and then specifically connect it to the client called Rachel Sample QuickBooks. I'm gonna say next. and says, do you want to confirm this? I'm going to say, yep, connect. And so now it's asking, which type of forms do I need for this payer? Do I need the 1099 NEC or the 1099 miscellaneous? In this case, we're going to say 1099 NEC. We're going to map it to box one for non-employee compensation. Do I agree that I need to do this correctly? I'm going to say yes. 
I'll choose import. This is my sample file. So maybe something good will import, maybe it won't. But the purpose of this video is just to show you how easy this is. It's kind of nice. You can see at the top, this is 2019. So you could see 28. Uh, this is 2020. You could look and see your 2019, 2018, and so forth, all your history. Okay, so we've added one pair. So this is complete. If I had multiple companies that I was doing this for, I would see the various payers. And payer, again, is just the company who's issued the money and not the recipient of the 1099, but rather the issuer of the 1099. I'm going to go ahead and click on Gentle Frog Sample QBO File. The next step is to fill in the payer information. So again, the payer is us. So I'm just going to scroll down and make sure this is all correct. This information pulled in from my QuickBooks Online account. So surprisingly, it's a lot of sample data. I'm just looking through it. I'm like, yep, this is all good. This is all good. I'm not doing any of these things. What I'm working on is a 1099 NEC. So I'm going to choose save. So now let's go to add a recipient. I can upload from a CSV or I can just do this manually. For the purpose of the video, I'm gonna do this manually. So we'll go sample company LLC and they have provided us with an EIN. We're gonna say the EIN is 23-456-456-7890. Um, the second name, such as a DBA, there isn't one. The address is 123 Main Street because we're nothing if not creative. Bellevue, Washington, 98004. The recipient's email for email delivery, account number if applicable. The amount of non-employee compensation. So that's when I go to my QuickBooks and I see how much money did I pay them for non-employee compensation last year. And we'll just pretend that it was $10,000. There was no federal income tax withheld, so I'm going to indicate zero. There's no state withholding for Washington. I'm going to choose save. So it's been entered. Do I have anybody else? I do not, so I'm going to skip this. Let's go ahead and look at the form summary. So form summary, it says I have one. Okay for e-file, um, but there's no email. So that's what the, um, the caution sign is telling us, that there's no email address. So I can say, save my changes. If I had more companies here, I would see them on the list. The next step is to e-file. Can I go ahead and choose e-file? And then I can choose to print and mail this myself, or I can ask Track 1099 to do that for me. If I ask T Track 1099 to do that for me, they'll charge me $1.59. My total cost for doing this will be $4.58. Because this is make-believe, I'm not going to send anything out and I'm not going to toss my credit card number into here. But I did want to show you how easy this was to do using Track 1099. In a future video, I'm going to show you Tax 1099. We'll go through the same steps so you can see how it works. So you can compare and contrast which one might be the easier one for you to use. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any other videos that you'd like to see me do, please let me know. I'd be happy to put a video together for you. Thank you so much.